Hey everybody, welcome to Hot Entertainment News. I'm sure by now we've all watched Young Rich and African Season 2. It's giving what it's supposed to be giving. Nadia Naka especially, she's giving everything. I mean, the first season she was literally wiling and a lot of people didn't like her, me included. But this season... We are loving her. I'm loving her. And it was so bittersweet to see this video where she was talking about AKA and how she's so in love. I got a new man. <laughs> and I'm so in love. And I'm so happy. I am a King and Jared Forbes, also known as AKM. He's such a manly man. And he loves me so nicely. I'm so in love. I'm like the happiest person. Yeah, that was so sad to watch. And what's even sadder to watch is this video of her on her birthday with Kenan's daughter and Kenan's mom, you know, giving her flowers and kisses and muffins. It's the sweetest thing ever. And yeah, so there was also a bit of tension between Nadia, Bonang and, and what's her name? Uh, Kanyumbau. Because apparently Bonang doesn't seem to have a problem with them but they seem to have a problem with her so Nadia Nakai says she had a problem with Bonang before the aka saga because we all know that aka used to date Bonang but she said the drama happened before aka but then Kanyambao's excuse for not liking Bonang is that um well I don't understand her I don't get her and people that I don't understand I'm not comfortable around them and it's like girl you and Bonang were close when you were dark skinned. You were close. You were together. Now when you're light skinned, these pictures they look like people who are very close. And I think it's all for content. It's all for for drama for their new show. And as much as Zari said it's not staged, I think it's some of the things they just scripted. And speaking of Zari, like I've never understood Zari. Zari gives me these weird vibes every time i see her on screen like i just i don't get it like i don't understand her at all that is somebody is can you is can you say it? like i don't get her and i'm not comfortable around her because i don't understand her she has this weird energy that i don't get maybe it's just me but yeah i don't understand her energy and well things got a bit tricky on young rich and african when Wenang rocked up and Nadia and Kanyambao stood, but they lied and said, no, it wasn't because of Wenang. We just wanted to talk about something else. You can hear the excuses because Nadia's like, Nadia and Akai's excuse was very different from Kanyambao's excuse. You guys stood up together for different reasons and went together. That doesn't make sense at all. But Wenang, our girl B, she's not bothered. She is not there. So Zari just wrote this up to her ex. She said, I have so much regard for you as the father of my kids and nothing can come between that. If there was a chance for us to get back together, you'd come running back. How are you sitting with temporary people in your life discussing me? leaves me in awe you can f anyone you want without using me as bait i don't want you i'm not obsessed with you no matter of fact it's the opposite you're obsessed with me you can't seem to replace me you will come running like a cheater if i call you back i'm only reasonable for respect's sake for the sake of the for the sake of the kids google the kids google stuff some i can explain some i can't basically she's saying a lot she said you are cancelled and if you don't like it, let the court decide. I don't need you. With or without you, I have a whole effing life. Lest I checked the whole EA didn't know, blah, blah, blah. And then she went on to say, you forever letting this so-called 20-year-old disrespect me for the sake of you getting pee. It's not worth it. You are diamond. You can't get <laughs> any person you want without involving me. I'm a well married woman right now and your shit didn't sit well with my marriage. Wow, she's a married woman. Wow, I didn't know that. The shorts who only edit parts which suit them is absurd. I made it clear I'm with someone now. Oh, the way you are holding on to Andela didn't suggest that you're married. That's why I'm so shocked. She goes on to say, I'm a self-made billionaire and I will not have your spam beans. 
put me in a category I don't belong. Fold music career with five BBLs. Face like a he or she and still couldn't get to be noticed. Ooh, she's dropping bars. Bars on bars, girl. Should be a rapper. So I think she's talking about Fontana just from that description she just gave us. And honestly, that Fontana girl was wiling. Like, why? You just arrived. You just arrived. And the way she was acting, it was so all over the place. And it's so weird how these uh, reality stars will blame editing when things go left. But when things go right for them, they'll be happy. But when they go wrong, they're like, editing. But anyway, what did you guys think of this season of Young, Rich and Famous? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What did you think?